sahabat Kemlu, selamat datang kembali di podcast Kementerian Luar Negeri, Diplomacy Talk, Deep Talk, bersama saya, Cornelia Ami. Podcast kali ini merupakan edisi khusus bertepatan dengan penyelenggaraan Beasiswa Seni dan Budaya Indonesia atau BSBI di tahun 2023 yang dikenal juga dengan Indonesian Arts and Culture Scholarship atau IACS. Tahun 2023, BSBI kembali dilaksanakan secara fisik. Program ini akan berlangsung dari tanggal 1 Juni sampai 18 Agustus 2023. BSBI di tahun ini mengangkat tema Indonesia Home of Diversity. Ada 45 pemuda dari 34 negara termasuk dari Indonesia yang mereka semua telah terdaftar mengikuti program ini sebagai peserta dari BSBI 2023. Dan juga ada tambahan dua negara yang pertama kalinya nih mengirimkan pesertanya untuk bergabung pada program ini yaitu ada Tanzania dan juga Qatar sahabat Kemlu semua. Nah, nantinya seluruh peserta ini akan belajar seni dan juga budaya Indonesia di sanggar-sanggar seni yang tersebar di seluruh Indonesia yang merupakan mitra dari Kementerian Luar Negeri Republik Indonesia. Nantinya akan ada lima sanggar yang disambangi oleh keseluruh peserta ini untuk belajar seni dan budaya Indonesia. Halo semuanya dan mari kita sapa peserta BSBI kita yang selanjutnya dari Solomon Island ada Miss Sharon Lydia Harikaura Totorea. Ayo kita kenalan dan juga ngobrol bareng dengan Sharon tentang BSBI dan juga mungkin tentang pengalaman-pengalaman yang sudah dialami dan dilalui oleh Sharon sebelum mengikuti program ini. Hai Sharon, nice to meet you. Halo Okaltea, Okalta. Yes, hello. Is it correct? Halo. Uh, halo Olketa. Halo Olketa. Sharon, how are you? Hi. I'm so humbled and honored to be here in Indonesia. I would like to say congratulations to you and welcome to Indonesia. But however, before I ask you to introduce yourself, I'm gonna ask you to share and to explain to us about the cute outfits that you are wearing right now. Could you please tell us a little bit about your outfits? Because I'm curious about it. Terima kasih. Okay, um, so this is the traditional outf- um, costume in my country, Solomon Islands. As you can see, this um, round necklace, um, it's made out of seashells, and it's, it's called, um, it, it has a traditional name, I forgot the name. It was, and this one we have the crossed um, shell money. It's called Abarau um, in Lao language, one of the province in Solomon Islands. And we had the handband. And also this is called Fodara. Um, so all this um, traditional um, costumes or shell money, it's only used for special occasions like Pride Prize um, when we did um, do ceremony, um, traditional dance, and um, it's very expensive and valuable in my country. Yeah. Oh, I gotta, I gotta be, ca- I gotta be careful because it's very expensive, right? Yes. Anyway, let's jump to the first question. Of course, um, could you please tell us about yourself and why are you interested in joining this event in Indonesia? Thank you very much. Oh, um, I've heard about this uh, program through a friend who's also an alumnus in 2019. Um, he came here to Indonesia through the scholarship and he learned a lot. And also um, he shared about the art and culture and I was intrigued by his experience. And so I was, I was thinking to myself, maybe if I had the opportunity, I will come to Indonesia one day. And here I am in Indonesia. Um, I've I've loved Indonesia, yeah. So I've the people, the place, and um, because I love writing as well, and I am a poet in my country. So I think that oh maybe if I go back to my country, I'm gonna write about my experience here in Indonesia. Do you have any plan like what kind of um, poets that you will make in the near future after you finish the whole program? Oh yes, I was thinking of um, maybe I could um, write um, some of the poems um, in Indonesian language 
maybe oh. from Padang because I'll be oh. uh, I'll be staying in the one of the art center in Padang. So I'm hoping that maybe I could write um, poems and then share with my family and friends in my country. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you've heard about Padang, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but have you ever visited Indonesia before, prior to this event, maybe? Um, no, I haven't visited Indonesia. But I, I read about Indonesia and also from my friend who's also an, um, who's also an alumnus in this program. And, and I'm so happy that I'm here in Indonesia. Yeah. So what is your first impression about this country? Oh, wow, there's so many. But one of the things that when I came in Indonesia, the people are so kind and so respectful. Like whenever they, um, whenever they said something, they were like... Um, so kind and I feel um, so much at home even though I've been far away from my country but but there's people um, so so kind yeah so, so um, until right now what is your favorite thing about Indonesia at this point because this is your fourth days in your journey of this event right so have you found any thing that uh, actually captured your heart or your eyes maybe in Indonesia, especially in Jakarta? Yes, um, one of the things that um, really touched my heart is the people. Yeah, the people are so kind. I like, even though I miss my family for the past days, but they're so kind and loving. And also, um, and also the food. I love the food, yeah. and. I think that maybe when I go back home, I'm I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss the food here from Indonesia. Well, what, what kind of food and cuisines that you've ever tried before here in Jakarta? Um, so you you mean um, the food that I Indonesian ate. food, Indonesian food, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, um, I love the um, the one that they they cooked. It's a beef, I guess, from Padang. Mm -hmm. It's one of the famous. Um, is it rendang? Yes, yes, oh, that's the one. You tried it before. Yeah, huh. and so I loved it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else maybe that you've tried before? Um, Besides rendang, of course. Yes. <laughs> um, the the fried rice. Fried rice. Yeah. Fried rice, yeah. yeah. Well, I know because rendang is probably the most favorite food around the world, and oh, wow. yeah, it, it's amazing that you also. Acknowledge rendang as your most favorite food. <laughs> Thank you. And maybe you can tell us and tell the audience um, several Indonesian words that you've learned before from our friend here in the ministry or from your any other friends who joining this event. Oh yes. Um, so when I for the past few days, I've I've heard a um, few phrases. From Indonesia, some of them I forgot, but one that sticks out, um, it's called terima kasih. It's thank you, and um, I'm hoping that for the next few days or next two months, which I'll be staying in Padang, I hope that I will learn a lot more languages. Yeah. Sure, and you will eat a lot of good rendang in there, of course. Okay, so terima kasih, and I hope that you also will learn other Indonesian words um, throughout your journey here in Indonesia, not only in Jakarta and perhaps in Padang as well, okay? Um, could you maybe tell us about the city uh, that you will be assigned to throughout this event? Because uh, you've already mentioned Padang earlier, right? So could you please tell us about the program in Padang that you will um, be joining later on? Yes, um, so Padang, I've heard that it has beautiful beaches mm -hmm. and it has one of the most delicious foods mm -hmm. and um, the place is be so beautiful mm -hmm. with the people and the culture mm -hmm. and it has, you know, um, rich traditions which they preserve until now and we will also be learning dances and handicrafts um, from, from Padang and I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to learn more and interact with um, with with my friends, who's also um, will be in Padang too. Yeah. Um, 
Can you please spill maybe a little bit about the dance or arts that will be facilitated by our friends, by our team in this program to you and maybe your friend and any other participant in Padang? Maybe you will learn um, a new dance or a new song or whatsoever. Maybe you can please share it a little bit. Yes, um, so we'll be, um, we will learn, um, I think, probably two dance. Okay to dance from, from Padang and also there we will also uh, make handicrafts which we will put on display um, during the um, during the closing ceremony when we come back and also we will do um, we will wear traditional um, costumes and attires from, from Padang and maybe we could go and and have a tour around some places and yes that's what we're going to do. And there's so many others more. Well, so which one of those activities that probably makes you a little bit more excited? Maybe you can pick one or two things, maybe? Yes, um, I can't wait to learn the dance. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure that after the program, I will somehow um, take the dances um, to my country. And also the food. I just can't wait to learn how to... To, to do the traditional dishes, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm also excited to see your performance later on, maybe in the next two months, if I'm not mistaken, in August, right? Yes. All of you will be performing special dance for us. I'm looking forward to that dance. Okay, um, Sharon, I also um, am interested in, when I saw your motivational letter, I recognized that you are actually a counselor Right. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about your job as a counselor and what brings you here to this program and how do you find it useful for your future career as a counselor? Thank you. So um, in my country, I am a youth counselor, as you have mentioned. I work mainly with young people, mm -hmm. um, promoting and advocating social emotional well-being. And one of the reasons that I applied for this scholarship is because I want to learn about the culture of Indonesia mm -hmm. and to be aware of the, you know, the, the different cultures of the participant who also come for the program. And I believe that I will, from this experience, I will learn the values and norms and traditions which will help me to understand the, the way people um, see the world around them. And also, um, not only that, some of my clients are from different cultures too, so it will be a, you know, a very, um, how do I say, um, a good experience, a learning experience for me um, as to my, to my work, yeah. Yeah, um, Sharon, as a counselor who often listens to the story um, from your clients, what is the most interesting stories maybe related to the, to the culture and arts from your clients? that you can share it to us? Yes, um, so in my country, we, we have um, diverse culture, like in Indonesia. And so um, we, uh, one of the interesting thing is, um, we don't usually share our stories when someone goes through um, you know, some difficult times, but having that safe space for young people, it's so nice. And it's so humbling and honor to actually sit down and listen to the stories and being part of them and have the empathy and to just listen and be there for them and to help and support them in any way that I can. Yeah. Okay, so Sharon, now I have several options that you need to pick. And all of these options are related to Indonesian dishes because I know that you are into Indonesian foods so let's begin. First question, nasi goreng or nasi kuning? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, since you've tried it before, right? Or maybe you have another story why you pick nasi goreng instead of nasi kuning. Yeah, so I pick nasi goreng because um, it's a fried rice, right? Yeah. yeah. And so we ate that during the breakfast in the hot day and I just loved it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can eat nasi goreng as our breakfast, lunch, or even dinner, or maybe late dinner. 
<laughs> yeah, I used to do that actually. And next question, lontong sayur or nasi uduk? Well, in English, it is vegetable rice cake or mixed rice. Which one? Okay, I'll, I'll go for the vegetable fried rice. Okay, yeah. why? Because um, it's not in my country, but I would love to taste. I would love to yeah, have a taste of it. Okay, last question. Well, I'm sure it's quite difficult for you. Jengkol or tempe bacem? Well, I bet you've never heard yeah. any of this. <laughs> but if you can pick one, which one? Uh, probably I could... Pick the second one. <laughs> okay, the second one. Tempe bacem. Okay, that is all for the game session. But I still actually have one last question for you, Sharon. Um, do you have any message? Well, of course, that you want to convey to the audience, maybe to your friends and your family in Solomon Island. Okay. Um, the message I want to share is um, to to spread the love. Yeah, um, here in Indonesia, I have I've experienced it. The people are so kind and loving. And even though we are from different culture, you know, diverse cultures, I, I can see that we all connected, you know, through um, being kind, because kind is universal. You show kindness and you touch someone's heart. And, and that's the message I want to bring, because I've learned here in Indonesia and... Um, the people are just so beautiful inside out. And um, and I want to say to all my family and friends, if you have the opportunity to come to Indonesia, please, please come to Indonesia. It's a life-changing experience. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sharon. I wish you all the best throughout this event. And I cannot wait to see your performance in the mid of August. Thank you so much. Terima kasih. Wah, jadi luar biasa sekali ya sahabat Kemlu semua, meskipun Sharon tadi masih belum terlalu fasih bahasa Indonesia, tapi dia bisa loh memilih nama-nama makanan yang tadi saya kasih, bisa pilih satu dari dua pilihan, itu kan luar biasa sekali. Nah, makanya kalian semua sahabat Kemlu, jangan mau kalah, jangan mau ketinggalan dengan Sharon dan juga teman-teman BSBI lainnya. Semoga kalian dan juga saya sendiri ini bisa semakin terus mempromosikan budaya dan juga seni Indonesia, dimanapun kita berada nantinya ya. Jangan mau kalah dengan peserta. Serta BSBI di tahun 2023 ini Oh ya sahabat Kemlu semua Jangan lupa podcast ini ditayangkan Di Youtube Mova Indonesia Dan juga Instagram kita At Kemlu underscore RI Milik Kementerian Luar Negeri Republik Indonesia Jadi jangan lupa Like, comment, subscribe Dan juga share semua media sosial kita mulai dari YouTube sampai Instagram. Nah, ini juga sebagai penutup rangkaian kegiatan BSBI tahun 2023 ini. Nanti juga akan diselenggarakan kegiatan pagelaran seni dan budaya. Nah, untuk lokasi pasti dan juga tanggalnya, jangan kemana-mana ikuti terus media sosial kami untuk tahu update mengenai kegiatan BSBI tahun 2023 ini. See you di kesempatan berikutnya. Stay safe, sahabat Kemlu. Dadah!